She know that Auntie Vems has a boyfriend now. Nah, nah, him be that. That's my fiance. The matter. So you want to become a pastor's wife in that dress? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the exclusive premiere of the latest gem in Nollywood's crown, Mistakenly Yours. This masterpiece is filled with love, laughter, and of course, some unexpected twists. With a stellar cast, a gripping storyline, and the creative genius of the executive producer, Laju Iren, or A to Zio, like we love to call her, this is definitely a must watch. My name is Deborah Aguike. I like to be called Debbie the Media Girl, and I'm delighted to be on the red carpet on this beautiful evening. I'll be having conversations with members of the cast, the crew, and the distinguished guests that have graced this momentous occasion so don't go anywhere we'll be right here on the red carpet Of course, we are the red carpet of Mistakenly Yours premiere right here at Ebony Life Place in no other than the Victoria Island, Lagos. And I have hmm, the amazing Lolo. <laughs> How are you feeling? How are you feeling tonight? Oh, very excited. You know, it's a very amazing movie and I'm looking forward to seeing how everything will come together. I was asking about your character earlier and you were telling me, oh, she's a typical bride's mom. But you know, for the Nigerian context, like, what's that? Is that the... You have not married, though. It's getting late, too. There are subtler ways to do it now. <laughs> you know, they have to be aggressive. <laughs> but, you know, that subtle aggression, press your neck and, oh, uh, mommy. Uh -huh. But, um, you know, she has two daughters and, of course, she wants them to get married. And one of them actually got married before the older one. Uh, so, it's a lot of... Uh, What's going on, my dear? Is there anything I should help you with? <laughs> so it was very interesting character. All right, thank you so much, Lolo. It's still happening live at the red carpet of Mistakenly Yours premiere. And I have the dapper looking Stan Uze right here beside me. Uh -uh, give it us the dub. How are you feeling this evening? I'm really elated. Um, tiring day, to be honest. But I'm hoping that I know that the whole thing is as a I'm going to be refreshed by watching this. Um, I cannot wait to see how he turned out. I mean, filming this put us through a lot of challenges. Uh, and I know that months after we were done, producer E.D. called me and said, ah, this is the first time I'm making a film and I really see the characters I created come to actual life. So I'm glad, glad her vision came to life so perfectly and so beautifully well. I cannot wait to see for myself how that has spanned out. Okay. If you were to personally rate it from your experience, what would you rate it over 10? In terms of the film, not like the challenge. Oh um, my, I think it's a 10 over 10. I think it's a 10 over 10. I mean, story check, uh, picture check, directing check, actors check. You know, everything that would take to give a beautiful film. Sound is great, you know, as I see from the trailer. So I want to experience that even more from what, of course, editing would make a film even greater than it was from fusing. I'm hoping that's what I, I'll experience tonight. Hoping to watch that as well. This is not a mistake, but it is mistakenly yours premiere happening at Ebony Live Place. And I have Fumi and Dami right here, putting on their Sunday's bed, looking really nice. How are you feeling this evening? Are you excited to be here? Yes, I am excited to be here. What about you, sir? I am. What are you looking forward to the most in this premiere? Are you looking forward to any actor? Are you looking forward to anything in particular? I'm looking forward to an excellent storyline. I'm looking forward to a good screenplay, good transitions, and yeah. Okay. What about you? More a fan of the storyline. Um, I'm looking forward to a storyline that is not predictable. Yeah. And of course, excellent delivery as well. Thank you so much. It is a very super exciting night happening at Ebony Life Plate. Of course, it is the Mistakenly Yours premiere. Woo, woo, woo. And I have the brains behind it standing right beside me. The one and only 
Pastor Laju Iren, A to Z. It is that was that. It is that. It was the L, you know, the extraordinary director, producer, pastor, fine woman. <laughs> so I, I need to ask you first of all, how are you feeling? I'm feeling super excited. Uh, we've we put a lot of work into the film, and I'm just excited for uh, everyone who's close to us and uh, loves the industry to see it. So what would you say about the storyline made you feel this has to be a film? I think it's just a beautiful film. I'm a very romantic person. I don't really care much for films where everybody's dying. Uh, so I, th I think it's a pretty feel-good, uh, clean uh, film, like very much what we are, we are known for at Nigerian films. And then the actors are absolutely amazing. They did bring it to life. Uh, it's a story of love, uh, mistakes, but then redemption and hope. So, I mean, mistakenly yours is here. Are we expecting more films this year in the works, in the pipeline? Amen, in Jesus' name. Oh, let's just be making money so we can make even more films. But we, we have a lot. Um, so that Found the Rose was even made before mistakenly yours. So we're hoping that people get to see that soon. And there are a couple of um, ideas we have in the pipeline. But for now, we're just fo focusing on this and uh, ensuring that people get to see it. All right, looking forward to that. Congratulations on the latest film in town. And we're hoping to have a great time. Before we let you go, yes. we need to see your Sunday's best. Because yes. you told all of us to come ready. Yes. <laughs> so just a spin. Father, for the greater things that lie ahead. We thank you, dear Father, for the bigger things that are ahead for the cast, for the crew, for everyone that has been a part of it. We give you praise and we give you all the glory. In Jesus' name, we are prayed. Amen. Amen. Thank you so Amen. much. Your biological clock is ticking and it's very loud in my ear. I beg this surface. Not let her look too old. You know, say today now, nah, younger sister wedding. Do you know that Auntie Bames has a boyfriend now? My brother? Yeah. Feelings are for canal people. something about the way you smile. Souls of men are perishing, and you're here bringing out your phone and doing social media. I'm supposed to be like Apostle Paul. I don't want to be distracted by these women and their plenty dramas. Is your body working fine? According to the new bylaws of the ministry, you cannot be a parish pastor if you're unmarried. You want me to pretend to be your girlfriend? Nine, nine be that. That's my fiance. Mm -mm. Lies. So you want to become a pastor's wife in that dress? I want to be Basia. Wide mouthed people. I said it is time for fellowship. Put your phones down! <laughs> you are not a mistake just because you made a mistake. I need to spend the rest of my life paying for my debts. But you can't pay this debt. I am not one of your male projects that you think you can fix. That's such an unfair thing for you to say. You need a husband. And I'm never going to get married. Never. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I have a distinguished guest here with me at the premiere of Mistaking Yours this fantastic evening. How are you feeling now that you've watched the movie on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, 15. 15! Come on! <laughs> <laughs> I love that. Yeah, thank you. It was, it was a beautiful film. Uh, quite relatable. Uh, I had fun. I laughed. Yeah. <laughs> so, um, and it was informative. Yeah. All around, it was it was great, exceptional, and a big congratulations to Pastor Laju and the team. Uh, they did a number on this one. Okay. Yeah. I like that you mentioned that it was informative. Can you identify just one tiny thing that you took away, one tiny lesson, something that stuck with you? Yeah. Um, don't don't condemn yourself when God hasn't condemned you. 
Uh, <laughs> no, we're not in church, but I mean, we take church everywhere we go. If you get what I mean. Uh, yeah. So um, basically, um, don't, don't condemn yourself. Yeah. Um, accept God's love. Yeah. And um, yeah, just live yeah. your life in, 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 in God's love and just sail. Yeah. I love that. Thank you so much for chatting with us. How do you feel on a scale of one to ten, just today, January? Fifteen. You're the second 15 today. Woo! All right. Um, of course, you've been a part of the behind the scenes of this entire process. What would you say is one thing that you want people to take away from this entire experience? Honestly, one word is tenacity. If you ask anyone who was part of the set and the pr production, they will tell you they had a lot of challenges. And I'm very inspired that it just kept on going. And then watching the final product, I'm really glad they did not give up. Honestly speaking, I'm really glad. So I'm curious, right? The name of the movie is Mistakenly Yours. How did that... I know, I know I've know, i watched it. I don't want to give spoilers, but what do you think about the title, Mistakenly Yours? What should people expect, you know, from Mistakenly Yours? Honestly, off the jump, you're going to see the genius of the writing. I mean, um, on purpose, even if my wife is the writer, I made sure I didn't watch it till today. I wanted to have that unbiased opinion and... I really just appreciate the genius behind the writing and that the concept of the title when you get it it's amazing so I, I, I really recommend 100% All right. thank you so much sir. congratulations to you congratulations Pastor Laju Iren alright I am with one of the members of the cast for this fantastic movie and I just want to ask what was the experience like you know being on this particular set I know you've been on a lot, lot of projects but this particular one what was the experience like for you I just felt a lot of love I felt a lot it felt like I was working with family and I like I, I really like Pastor Laju so I'd already made up my mind that I was gifting myself to her and it didn't matter what happened or didn't happen I, I knew we were going to make a good film and honestly I'm very proud of what we have seen here tonight all right ladies and gentlemen I was saying earlier that our guests did not come to play because the dress code was Sunday best and Olivia herself she came looking the best of the best I love it so much. You look amazing. Um, if you wanted to say like just a one word to the executive producer, Laju Iren, um, I believe that this is your first time working with her in this capacity. So would you, what would you say to her? Um, dear Laju, you keep doing it thanks to the grace of God upon your life. And I pray that this oil on your head will never run dry. I pray that God will continue to strengthen you. I mean, it's so beautiful to see you telling the Lord's story always as the Lord's storyteller that you are. And I pray that all the divine enablement that you need, God will grant unto you financially, physically, materially. In every single sphere, I pray that God will grant it unto you. We're looking forward to more record-breaking movies That's from right. you. Right. And by the glory of God and by the grace of God, it will continue to get bigger and bigger. Eyes have not seen, ears have not heard of the goodness that God is bringing into your life. I am so proud of you. I'm always rooting for you. I'm always here for you. Just one phone call away, always. Congratulations on the success of this. And that's a wrap on the exclusive premiere of Mistakenly Yours. Trust me, you need to grab your copy, your popcorn, your favorite drink, and definitely do not miss this movie. Tonight was exciting, it was glamorous, and it was fantastic. So until next time, not mistakenly yours, sincerely yours, Debbie the Media Girl. Keep dreaming, keep doing, and keep embracing the unexpected. Make sure you watch Mistakenly Yours.